Hi, this is Mike Elliott from CEO Live TV, and you're watching an Emerging Growth Sector Watch report featuring FTech International, ticker symbol EFFI. FTech is a holding company with four operating subsidiaries. The company's core focus is on the acquisition and development of proprietary technologies. FTech is actively expanding its footprint in the technology marketplace through acquisitions of profitable, revenue producing companies with proven business models. FTech International is a publicly traded company listed on the OTC under the symbol EFFI. FTEC International has made significant progress proving their ability to successfully identify, acquire, improve, and market cutting-edge technologies. However, long-term investors realize the company's real potential lies in its proprietary development and acquisition of various technologies and its ability to build shareholder value by actively expanding its footprint in the technology marketplace through additional acquisitions of profitable, revenue-producing companies with proven business models. On February 25th of this year, FTEC announced it had completed the acquisition process of BitBank, a Bitcoin market and valuation application for iOS. FTEC targeted this particular application for a variety of reasons to be expanded on once the transaction is fully closed. In their press release, the company stated their general strategy, which compelled them to make this acquisition, is centered around the belief that cryptocurrencies represent at once a novel currency, a novel marketplace, and a unique financial instrument, which is only in its infancy. It is not often that an entirely new sector is born, and FTEC believes the potential for commerce in this sector holds almost unlimited potential for expansion and increased adoption in the years to come. Along with the very likely growth of the entire cryptocurrency sector will come opportunities for those involved and properly positioned to reap the rewards. In other recent news, FTEC announced it has entered negotiations with multiple parties for acquisitions in the medicinal and legalized marijuana sectors. The company has been carefully analyzing all the relevant points and developments in the MMJ sector for some time in terms of legality, general public acceptance, and actual potential for growth in the short, mid, and long term. At this point, they believe not just that the market and the people have spoken in this regard, but that wide-scale acceptance of legal marijuana is a near certainty. FTEC is in various stages of negotiation with several parties while performing all the necessary due diligence on particular assets and opportunities being considered. Shortly after the announcement was made that several opportunities were being considered, FTEC announced on March 19th that they had completed the acquisition of marijuana informant Potsnob application for iOS. In the release, the company stated that, The acquisition of marijuana informant Potsnob represents their first strategic move into the MMJ sector. As FTEC's acquisition strategy evolves, the company has also demonstrated a willingness to make the necessary management changes to align with that evolution. Roughly two weeks following the acquisition announcement on April 7th, FTEC appointed a new CEO, Alexander D'Souza. Alex comes to the company as the ideal executive given the company's current focus and plans for 2014 and beyond. He holds dual degrees in systems analysis and accounting from the Toronto School of Business and the prestigious Ryerson University. His career before joining the company was focused within the technology sector, having played integral roles with Hewlett Packard, Scotiabank, TD Securities Canada, RBC Technologies Group, Rogers, AT&T, and many others. In brief, Mr. D'Souza brings an extensive background of accounting, auditing, database management, and development credit and risk management, software development, and project management experience to the company. FTEC made another critical management decision with the announcement of their new chief technical officer on April 10th, Ms. Mary Catherine Tantum. As CTO, Mary Catherine will be leading product development and digital marketing for the company's portfolio of technology products, as well as identifying and facilitating future strategic IT acquisitions. Ms. Tantum has held executive marketing positions with several global software and consumer healthcare companies and was integral in the launch and marketing of a globally well-known web-based medical information forum and site, which is now one of the primary sources of medical information on the web. During her tenure as Digital Marketing Director for Nature's Products, a nutritional supplement manufacturer, she led the development of the company's e-commerce business as well as all of the online marketing activities supporting the company's portfolio of consumer products. At Spectrosoft, a Fortune 500 consumer and enterprise security software company, she was the Digital Marketing and Consumer Acquisitions Director, where she oversaw all online marketing and promotion promotional activity for the company's consumer product division. Mary Catherine is being contracted to serve as FTEC CTO as the company positions itself for aggressive growth in the online currency and medical marijuana technology sectors and to help the company scale its current mobile and web product platforms globally. FTEC CEO Alex D'Souza stated that we now have the leader who will build the technology infrastructure, strategic marketing, and user acquisition plan for the company's future. MK's team will identify and build new innovations which leverage emerging technologies to a global audience, we wouldn't be more pleased with our choice and what she brings to our capabilities in terms of truly making the company name and brand known on a global level. 
The fact that FTech International has made its first strategic move into the MMJ sector is important to investors for a couple of reasons. First, as the mobile application sector continues to grow year after year, and the MMJ sector as a whole grows, demand for informative, intuitive MMJ apps will benefit from that growth. With the continued and increasing societal acceptance of MMJ will come equal demand for service and convenience-related products. Marijuana Informant is already generating sales, and FTAC will expand on development plans shortly. Second, Marijuana Informant will stand as a central hub and foundation of a strategic integration plan which the company is currently pursuing with related companies in the MMJ sector. As these negotiations are currently active on a daily basis and involve app integration, intellectual property, and so forth, FTEC will provide updates to all interested parties as soon as they become available. With the proven ability to spin off successful proprietary technologies and the business acumen to effectively acquire technology companies with proven track records, the company is well positioned to not only build market share but could quickly become a leader in the technology and budget. MMJ industry. You've been watching a CEO Live TV Emerging Growth Sector Watch report featuring FTech International. FTech is a holding company with four operating subsidiaries. The company's core focus is on the acquisition and development of proprietary technologies. FTech is actively expanding its footprint in the technology marketplace through acquisitions of profitable, revenue producing companies with proven business models. They are a publicly traded company listed on the OTC under the symbol EFFI, and you can find out more about them by visiting the company's website at www.ftech.com. Thank you for watching CEO Live.